What a moment it was for these ordinary shepherds who were abiding in the field, watching over their flocks by night. It started off just like any other night. There was nothing odd. There was nothing different about this night that began finding these shepherds abiding in the field. But it was going to be a night when these personal, these shepherds were going to realize that their lives would never be the same. Because these shepherds, abiding in their field, were watching over their flocks by night. I want you just for a few moments just to look at those shepherds engulfed by the darkness of the night. Because those shepherds picture mankind tonight who are engulfed in the darkness of sin. This world this evening is engulfed tonight in the darkness of sin. Every unsaved person is engulfed in the darkness of sin. But you know, for these shepherds this evening, these shepherds were going to experience a personal encounter with God, an encounter they were not expecting, an encounter that they weren't even praying for, an encounter that they weren't even seeking for, an encounter with God. You know, that's, that's the experience we all need tonight. We don't need a religious experience. We need a real experience, an experience with God. These shepherds this evening, as they abode in the field, engulfed by the darkness of the night, was going to be left never to be the same again. I trust tonight that this will be your experience, that tonight you will have a personal encounter with God. First of all, let's think of the fear of these shepherds. Because in verse 9 we read, And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. What a moment it was for these shepherds to be awakened by the glory of God. You know, my dear friend, this evening, the glory of God tonight showed up to these shepherds their unworthiness in the sight of God. And that's true for all of us tonight. We are all unworthy as we stand before God this evening because in the light of God's glory, because of sin, we are all unworthy. And they were sore afraid. You know, that's a healthy fear tonight to have, the fear in the glory of God. You see, friends, this evening people foolishly think that they'll meet God whatever way they want to meet God. And they foolishly think tonight that they're going to meet God whatever way they desire to meet God. But let me say something about these shepherds tonight because of the glory of God, they were sore afraid. In the light of God's glory tonight, I wonder, are you afraid? 
I wonder, does the thought of meeting God make you afraid? Because that's one encounter we are all going to have to make one day, someday. We're all going to meet God. This night, when the angel of the Lord came and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, we see the fear of the shepherds. Secondly, we not only see the fear of the shepherds, we see the favor of the shepherds. Out of all the people in this world, God was favorable to these few humble shepherds because God brought this wonderful news to these men. Even though they were sitting there sore afraid, here's the lovely message. Fear not, for behold, I bring you great tidings of great joy. You know, friend, tonight, listen to me. I want you to know you're in favor with God. As God was favorable to these few shepherds in bringing the greatest news that this world needed to hear tonight in this carol service, you're in favor with God. Because tonight God brings to your heart, God brings to your soul, the greatest message any human heart could ever behold. The greatest message you could ever hear tonight, my dear friend, is the great message of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. My dear friend, this evening in this carol service, God so loved you that he sent his Son into this world of sin. God so loved you tonight that he gave this, his only begotten Son to suffer and to bleed and die on an old rugged cross. Do you know what Christmas, the Christmas story says tonight? It says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ Jesus didn't come in to the world so we could have Christmas, but he, we, that we could be saved from our sin. You know, my dear friend tonight, here's the glorious message. Here's the good news tonight. God loves you. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Here's the good news tonight. The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. The Lord Jesus didn't come into the world tonight to start any religion. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want you to know tonight, the greatest news bears the greatest gift. And the greatest gift is salvation and eternal life and forgiveness of sin. Assurance of heaven that is found in the Lord Jesus. Now that's the fear of the shepherds. The fear of the shepherds. But I want you to notice thirdly, the faith of the shepherds because in verse 15, they said, And it came to pass that the angel said one to other, shepherds said, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass. You know, they believed this message. They took to heart what they had heard. My dear friend this evening, it's my prayer tonight that you will take to heart tonight the message that God has for your heart. Because you know this evening, friend, these shepherds, they acted on faith. They didn't wait for the angels to return for a second announcement. They believed the Word of God. I wonder tonight, will you believe the Word of God? Will you believe the good news this night as the shepherds believed it away back then? that tonight for you there's a Savior from all sin. Listen, friends, tonight, you need the Savior. You need tonight forgiveness of sin. 
You need to make peace with God. And the only way any of us can have that is by repenting of our sin and trusting the Lord Jesus to be our Savior. There's the faith of the shepherds, but there's the finding of the shepherds because it says, and they came and found him. What a moment it was when these shepherds found the Savior. Ah, friend, what a night it would be this evening if you would but come and find the Savior whom to know is to know life eternal. The one who was born into that little manger. The one who would grow up into a sinless person. The one who would go all the way to the cross. What a night it would be for you if you would trust him. If you would find him. If you would come to him. And then I want to finish with this evening the faithfulness of the shepherds because you see, these shepherds, when they found him, they made him known to those. You see, my dear friend tonight, I bring to you the same Lord Jesus. I present to you tonight the same Lord Jesus that was born in Bethlehem's manger. I bring to you this evening the same Lord Jesus that was crucified to that old rugged cross. I bring to you the same Lord Jesus tonight because he's the only Savior of sinners, the one who died, ah, yeah, and shed his blood, yes, but rose again from the dead, and tonight he's a living Savior, and he's alive and alive forevermore. And here's a promise tonight that the Lord Jesus makes. Him that cometh to me, I will in no ways cast out. The most important thing about Christmas is Christ. The greatest gift you'll ever receive is Christ. The greatest person you need to meet is Christ. You come to him. How many Christmases already have you let pass by and you still forsake him? Don't forsake him tonight, friends. You come to him and you make him yours. For he came to be your savior and he came to be your friend. Let's bow to we word of prayer. Together, Lord, tonight we do thank Thee for the wonderful story that the Christmas message brings. We thank You, Lord, tonight You're not willing that any should tonight neglect the wonderful gift of Thy dear Son. But we pray, Lord, on this very special occasion that the Christ of Christmas will become the Savior of some soul here this evening. I thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your grace. And so, Lord, draw strangely near this evening and be pleased to save this evening, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 209.